ever wondered what it would be like to travel back in time? Well, in this episode, you'll get to experience just that as I piece together a project I've been working on for almost a whole year. Hey friends, it's May and I'm a solo boater who has lived on the water for three years and this is my floating home. At the beginning of 2023, I set the mission to replace all of my leaky windows. I'm now a pretty good window replacer. After completing the outside of the boat, I had the mission to re-insulate all of the inside frames and somehow left it until winter to do so. Here is a film to show the process, warts and all. If you fancy doing some mansplaining in the comments below, go for it. Many of your comments make me smile. Don't hold back unless you have unfriendly intentions. For DIY, lush scenes and positivity galore, subscribe for more. This isn't helping with the motivation. I'm back after a week of being away. I've been up in Sheffield celebrating George's birthday. I've been gallivanting around Sherwood Forest. I've been resting, working on a project that I've been working on for months, making my own knife. <laughs> slowly, slowly making my own knife. So yeah, I'm feeling feeling pretty low energy, feeling pretty low in general, low mood. Went out on Friday for Halloween, had a bit of a party, and yeah, I felt really socialed out, um, being around people all the time, and had this like craving to be on my own. And now I'm on my own, it feels weird. It just feels so weird after being not on my own for so long just transitioning back into being on my own again and being on the boat and just being gentle and soft with myself. I have a tendency to get irritated at myself when I feel like this. So, yeah, feeling really unmotivated just want to kind of like curl up and watch movies all day. <sighs> I think the biggest challenge for me is just the fact that I'm doing this on my own. And yeah, that's what can get kind of intense sometimes. Just the amount I have to do. But, you know, it's okay. It's the, it's the same old thing. Uh. <laughs> I swear my relentless belching has something to do with, like, my nervous system. Because here I am talking about all the things I'm having to do and blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like... <laughs> or it's the... Uh, or it's the cacao. One or the other. I really, really want to start making some traction with these windows. 
So yeah, I think I'm just going to plod along and do some stuff. <laughs> and articulate myself in the most incredible ways. I'm on my second cup of green tea. The sun has decided to show its face and I'm wearing a new hat. Let's change it up a bit. Gonna work its magic on us on this sunny day. Please give it up for Bonobo. possibly be the worst DIY situation I've ever had. Um, I knew that this was going to be difficult and I knew that expanding foam was not the way to go but I'd already started this window with expanding foam so I was like I've got to finish it with expanding foam and I wish I wish I hadn't. <laughs> you know when like things go wrong and you can either like decide to run away from the situation, freeze, fight it. I think um I think there should be an extra F and it should be called F it. <laughs> I just started doing this and I just thought oh, I've got to just keep going even though it's going to absolutely ruin my lovely painted window frames that I've worked so hard to do so um yeah I'm just gonna have to clean up the mess later oh my god how do you even get this stuff off your hands oh my god it's so bad should have worn gloves oh. Never sandpapered a slipper before, have you? Well, I think it's going to be insulated pretty well. <laughs> it's going to take quite a lot of time to tidy up. Oh. Okay, I had a bit of lunch, feel better, and I'm um, ready to tackle the cleaning up phase. <laughs> pull off is this really nice foamy stuff I'm just sort of like shoving it in the gaps which is working really well I don't really need to use the seal for draft exclusion because I think the expanding foam does the job but this seal on this metal will prevent it from getting condensation on the metal which should prevent um, buildup of water. That's the theory.
for any drafts. There aren't any. Which is amazing. We've now jumped forward in time and the insulating mission continues. My plan was to complete one window to figure out the process and then work on the rest once I understood what I was doing. With all the frame wood varnished, the next phase is to measure everything up. Tommy's grumbling. Time for brekkie. Uh, excuse me, no you cannot watch me pee. you can almost guarantee that there is going to be some problems along the journey with this stuff and um, yeah I've made the length just a little bit too long so I'm going to have to cut them all off I did that because that back one measures differently to these ones and then because they're all the same size windows I just went for the same size measurements Oh, not a problem. Second issue is that I don't have enough wood to do all the windows. Standard. This is the one that leaks, so I'm going to leave that one till right at the end anyway. And then we've got the bathroom one that needs doing as well. So, to be honest, I need to get some wood filler on here anyway. I can get some wood next time in town. Just a little insight into the mind of May. Just had an interesting observation of my thoughts. There was this part of me that didn't want to come and check the measurements and make sure that they fit. And then I'm trying to figure out where that comes from. Is it this kind of like self-sabotage, afraid of failure? Maybe it's even like, oh, you know, this I've got this, I don't need to worry. It's just interesting sometimes I have that pattern and then I'll make a mistake and it's through this lack of being vigilant with detail. I get quite impatient and I get this feeling of just wanting to get it finished and over with when I know this stuff takes time and it's a, yeah, it's a continuous sort of observation of my own self-reflection of like trying to not control everything and um, try not to rush and get things finished when you know it will happen when it will happen kind of thing yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
go. I've got a sore thumb. <laughs> Get it? Sore thumb. <laughs> I'll be back next week. All the interior wood has been varnished. Now for the trim that I took off and does probably require a bit of TLC. Um, it's gonna rain, I can feel it. And it's already started really. Do I crack on or do I wait? Me, be patient and wait. <laughs> me, me. I'm gonna crack on till the last moment. Here's a selection of the trim that's been hiding under this blanket. This is just three windows worth. Oh my god. So, um, yeah. We'll do what we can. Damn it, I just spilt my varnish all over me wheelbarrow. <laughs> You can see it a bit better in the light now. All this stuff needs to come off. And there are some nails that need angle grinding off somewhere. Can't find them now. Oh. <laughs> So we've got all the right side windows ready to go. Been defeated by the rain and the darkness. So yeah, time to come in, make myself sit down, uh, have a cup of tea and a chill out, I think. And I'll just carry on when I've got the time. More wood. And yeah, more time. <laughs> Months pass. Dorf, my boat, and I travel many a mile. We come up locks, walk back to the car, and conquer bridges. Please go down. Christmas happens, and 2024 knocks on the door. I take some time off, hoping to travel to Scotland. But when that can't happen, I make the most of having George come stay to help me out. Hello! You want me to say hello as well? Hello! Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello! You need to say hello too! Okay. Um, so, Ow. it's January and it's the 2nd of January and I've got George here for a whole week so we're going to work on these windows because I have no idea what I got up to recording last time but I think I was having a real faff with the... that one? <laughs> with the, uh, what's it called? Expanding foam. Um, so yeah, I've got Georgie boy here now and we're gonna hopefully get most of this done over the next couple of days. Fingers crossed. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Feel so much more motivated now that there's two of us. <laughs> Need some soap for that. One at a time. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Look at this. Handmade by George Johnson. It's a sword! <laughs> this is made out of all guttering. And this is obviously made out of steel. But the idea is that it's going to be used to chop kindling or wood. And it f***ing chops. <laughs> it's so good. Do you want to show me Thor's hammer? And the old After a debrief, we realised we didn't need to do the river gouging. I think George just wanted to get his knife out and cut holes in my nice fresh wood. <laughs> <laughs> to 
do this with someone else because then you learn uh, different methods of doing stuff. You need a drill, some drill bits, and some screws. Okay! When I first thought about using insulation board over expanding foam, I chose the foam because I felt I knew how to do that. With George's support and by following his lead, I've now seen how it's done with the insulation board. It takes more time this way, and as you know, I often go for the faster, quickly get it done approach. But with the two of us, the work is halved and so much more enjoyable. This will fit, but it requires Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, bang. A bit of bang, bang, yeah. However, because I want to insulate it, I don't want to bang it in just yet. So, half job done. Sweet. George has really got it down. No messing about. Need a little bang, bang. Would you like a hatchet? A hatchet? Oh yeah, baby. Let's see if the proper application of force in the right direction. This is the Iron Bucket Wilson stance. Yeah, no, you've done really well. I'm very impressed. I have achieved success. You have been successful. Wow, you've been very successful. Uh, tight. Tight like a tiger. Tight like a tiger? Wow. A tiger's tight? I mean, I don't think they like spending money. I mean, yeah. <laughs> We spent the next five days pottering around, battling windstorms, and enjoying being in each other's company. Thanks, G. You're the best. It's the present day and all the windows are done. <laughs> Actually, that's a complete lie. There is one more to do. It wasn't sealed properly. It now has been sealed properly. I had to take it out and put it back in again. I've decided to save the process so that I can film a how to insulate your windows video. Just for that one window. I'm feeling this sense of relief gratitude of accomplishment. It's the end of January right now and I started the project at the beginning of March or was it the end of March? I don't know. Um, so it's basically been a whole year and it has been a really awesome experience actually doing all of this. So yeah, feeling good, feeling proud of myself and ready for the next thing because it never ends. I'm filming and editing this really, really early, so 
I'm sorry that I'm going to miss on the thank yous this week. But next week, oh God, it's so far into the future. I have no idea what it's going to be. But yeah, probably George back again. Probably moving the boat. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.